Hello and welcome to this special series, Finance Made Simple. Joining me today is Kiran Yadav, who's the Chief People Officer at Canara HSBC OBC Life Insurance. Thank you very much, Kiran, for joining us in this uh, series. Uh, Kiran, you know, there is a lot of emphasis and focus, and you know it better than anyone else, uh, on upskilling, reskilling. Uh, you know, it's not enough to have, you know, graduated in a particular subject or done your postgraduate uh, degree in another subject. Uh, these are times when you need to constantly upgrade your learning capabilities. The, the challenge that comes is that, uh, you know, some of these uh, mid-career learning programs, education programs can be fairly expensive. Uh, how do you advise, uh, you know, uh, mid-career people or uh, early career people uh, to actually be able to save up to fund this education? Um, I look at your question in two, three ways, if, if you're okay, if you'll allow me, Vivek. One is uh, funding for self. Well, uh, in India, people still depend on their parents to do that. that that's my experience. It's difficult to uh, accumulate enough, uh, you know, in the first two or three years, three years of your job to go, say, abroad to study, etc. So you depend on either bank loans uh, or you look at your, uh, you know, family to support you on that. It's honestly difficult to accumulate that kind of money. However, a lot of organizations are now supporting these aspirations and dreams for people. And uh, uh, because of large number of people that we can train together, so organizations support you. So you could be lucky and, you know, get in, get to work in an organization who can support your long-term dream of education. Or, like I said, uh, in your initial years, you'll have to, uh, like I said, take support from family or banks. Uh, Mid-term, when you're there uh, in your career, it may be possible and may be viable to have saved up enough through, uh, you know, saving through various instruments of insurance or other, um, you know, money matters, which you could, uh, which could help you uh, sponsor yourself uh, uh, for a course, which may be expensive. I would like to, however, like I said, tweak the question a little bit and say the bigger worry that people have today is to sponsor their kids' education because education today has become very expensive, even at schooling level. So it's not any more about higher education. It's about school education as well. And sponsoring funding children is expensive. So, you know, I would like to give a little bit of input on that basis, the experience that we have uh, in the insurance sector uh, is that, uh, and especially, and then a smart, another tweak to that, is uh, how would you ensure that your kids are funded well even if you are not there you know that is the important thing which sometimes we you know uh, don't plan that way but we should uh, if you want to ensure that whether you're there or not there and uh, god forbid uh, your kids education is not compromised and that i highly encourage every single person uh, to plan for that you need to know uh, you need to have a long-term plan that for example, whether it's 10 years or 15 years when you're going to need that money and you have to back work on it and see how you'll start investing today as your, uh, you know, salaries increase, your uh, proportion increase and how much you're going to be able to invest more and more. So back work and plan today, uh, you know, how would you would plan your kids education? The good part uh, uh, with it is with insurance is that a lot of it is tax free. So you have those benefits. Secondly, uh, and the best part is that even if you, like I said, God forbid, not there, uh, and if you've planned well for your children, their education will not be compromised, which means uh, through lump sums and through monthly installments, or depending on your milestones that you've planned for your children, all of it would be honored by the insurance company if you've invested in the right child plan. So education, Vivek, today can really be taken care of with good planning if parents are able to give that time to buy the right insurance plan for their children, build in the appropriate milestones and stick to their uh, you know, long-term plan. It can really be beneficial for their kids' higher education. Uh, for their own education, like I said, I think go back to mama. Uh, maybe they'll help better. It's difficult to sponsor otherwise, yeah, edu education abroad. All right. Thank you very much, Kiran, for joining me today and sharing your perspective with our viewers. Uh, appreciate you taking the time out. Thank you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Bye-bye.